Cannabis News Culture Entertainment and Grow Talk Leaf Surface Temperature coming at you by Captain Chronic. Uh, and again, we got to ask, Scotty, is the bakery going smoke free? Because I see you have a bunch of notes on here. And I don't, we were just talking, it's a conversation that carried over from the bakery about just the state of extracts today and how like you can find something, you don't get to smoke them, or actually sometimes you don't even get to smell them uh, when you go to the dispensary. And there are some weird looking shit that people are coming back with, man completely white, completely clear. Looks like a chunk of cheddar cheese. All this weird stuff, man. Well, the extract technology moves pretty quick, man. If you don't stop and look around every once in a while, it might not get too hot. <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to do it on the fly there. Banner's hanging out. What's up, dude? Welcome to the live show. Having a good time. Howdy. At the tone, the time will be uh, And i am going to get Ari here before we hop into the show. I'll give you a episode brought to you by realgrowers.com. Check out Real Growers. Get your dots. Get your recharge. You don't have to get them both, man. At least inoculate your rhizosphere with beneficial bacteria all in one package of kelp, mycorrhizal, pachyderma. You get all the good bennies in there to hit your root zone. Uh, and also, dudesworld.ca. If you're up in Canada, go over there if you want to get some of the same. Dots and recharge. And uh, we also have the pros list, guys. If you guys want to shop for your grow, go to dogrows.com forward slash pros, lighting deals, seed deals on seeds, all the coupon codes today. I'll feature seeds here now because I was just looking for that. Last Grow Talk, Scotty, we featured a uh, blueberry muffin from Humboldt Seed Company. Mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, I know Humboldt Seed Company has to be over at seeds here now. And they are, but they are out of the blueberry muffin. I would really like to try a 45 day strain. Uh, but tons of breeders, guys. It's, Seeds here now has got all the genetic. What's up? It's not a 45-day strain, I don't think, man. Do you know of any 45-day strains anymore, Banner? 45? Yeah, so true 45-day mm. going to be harvested I think, I think with you're amber trikes. I think you're che cheating a little bit if it's done in 45. Uh, yeah. You... You interviewed Humboldt's uh, Seed Company there, Scotty. I think that was you that did that one. And um, yeah, on the seed, seed description, they're legitimate breeders. It says 45 days. So Okay. Uh, I, wouldn't, we'll I won't doubt them. You know, the breeder says so. I just seen, yeah. I know if my seed guy calls me up and goes, is that, wait, ready, hold man. up, hold up. Is that counting from when buds start or when the light <laughs> cycle changes? No. It better be from when, when the, the light cycle, cycle Nobody changes. counts like that. That's cheating. You oh, could. man, there was a dispute about that for years. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, I've seen people argue about that. I did have a, a one called Ice back in the day, and that shit, 45, 47 days. Uh, I don't know if it was Amber Trikes, but people loved it, man. Deedsherenow.com, coupon code DUDE10, hook it up, guys. And let's not forget our DGC producers. I got a few to shout out here. Dr. Dugout, what's up? Kuzmas, I was just talking to Kuzmas the other day on the phone. Canadian DGC, how's it going, buddy? Who you got, Scotty? You know what, man? If I was going to hang out, if I was feeling a little bit down, I'd call my friend Chris Wellness. Chris Wellness, I would just press 20 on the phone too, man. Two, zero for Chris Wellness, all right? You guys are DDC producers. Make sure you've gone over to Patreon, checked out all the cool recent posts. Uh, we got some, that's we're going to be pulling some content from the new Saturday show happening, coming at you every Saturday for the producers. We also are giving away the AC Infinity full setup tent. Man, this has carbon filter, fans, inline fans, a badass LED light, 4x4 tent, everything you need to grow, containers, trellis, and it's all badass shit. Controller 69 for your lights and fan to control your environment. Um, to enter that giveaway, guys, just go over to Patreon and comment on that post, and you're entered to win. It's going till the end of January. Um, yes. Yeah, what's yes. up, Scotty? You your joint roll? Is that what you got going? Man, I feel like I just, it's like a, a habit thing. You know, if we're going to hang out and party, and especially if we're going live and chilling for an hour, it'd be nice to smoke a joint, man. Wait a second, what happened to the Smoke Free Bakery? Yeah, it's just a concept. We're going to talk about it. We're it's a gonna, concept. Okay, we're going to no. talk about it. No, man, you know what? <laughs> it's a concept. The catalyst I'm into is, concepts. Dude, I smoked like two, three joints a day, and I really wasn't getting... Uh, nice guy Kenny was here. He's like, you want to go out and smoke a joint? Of course, I had a high, high, high habit. I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. And I'm like, wait a minute. I'm already like kind of barely high, you know? And... Dude, my kid does dabs and, you know, like the new generation and she does them with the torch, man. And dude, the <laughs> torch will get you fucking high, man. I mean, one dab with the torch, you are mm, you big think it's stronger? Fuck. 
I, that's what I figured, man. We're live. We got the the, the peanut gallery. I figured we would uh, have a conversation about it, man. Online. Right, yeah. We got that. What is Coming that, up by the way? What we're smoking on and what's this going on. This is Sour Lime there? Cookies, man. Uh, this right is on. the old ass Sour Lime Cookies. I pulled out this jar recently and I put some moisture packs in it. And that's what I was just showing off the banner. I'll be damned. It's spongy, it. dude. It's spongy, kind of. I don't know if it's fresh weed, but it feels oh, fresh. You can see the sponge. Yeah. For real. That's why I want to see if it smokes in a joint or how well it smokes in a joint. It's a 62 pack. You're not going to burn that now. blue paper, are you? No. I'm going to take it we'll be to a grow talk. And I you didn't even know if I mentioned because I'm smoking some freshie from just trimmed last night. So I'm getting pretty I gotta be careful in the live show with that. But dogrows.com forward slash support. If I forgot to say that to become a DDC producer. And let's get a grow talk question going. Leave grow service talk. temperature by Captain Chronic. So Captain Chronic, what's good. up, man? Person. I want you to say, man, Captain Chronic said something, I think he said something nice about nice guy Kenny yesterday. Man, it made his day. I was on cloud nine for the rest of the day. So it is amazing. I just want to say shout out. It's amazing what a little comment will do to brighten somebody's day. Even me sometimes. Oh, yeah. I 100% agree, man. Fuel. It's fuel. I call it fuel. Uh, so in the growth talk question here, I was reading an article today about leaf surface temperature and how when running LEDs, you need to run a warmer room due to lack of IR from the lights. When you're getting running your HID bulbs. And everything else, you get more IR and higher temperature and leaf surface. They suggest around 83 to 85 room temp to get the proper leaf surface temperature. Thoughts? Does your room temperature need to be warmer when running LEDs compared to HIDs? It doesn't have to be, but ideal conditions would mean yes. We want to make it warmer, be. speed up the plant's metabolism, make everything go. What's up? Yeah. Sorry, man. I keep on getting into that uh, IR, the the infrared. I was at a restaurant a couple of days ago and it was me and nice guy, Kenny, and my wife. And it was one of them tables that was right next to the uh, uh, the window. And if you leaned forward, you got the light coming in and it was the IR was coming in too. the infrared was coming in and it was kind of nice and warm. And then if you lean back, you're in like kind of the shadow and it was fucking cold. And of course, my stoned ass had to tell Kenny, that's the difference between LEDs and HPS, man. Because we've all been in HPS I, I, rooms. They get all fucking, you're hot. They, they heat you up. They heat the leaf up too, man. I think an analogy might be because uh, I've been, I've been saunaing on the daily now. I go do the sauna for about a half hour. We had a sauna for a family gift legit one it has the heater and the rocks you know and when you run an infrared sauna some of those are pretty small you can put like right in your house in for the ir that that light in that sauna and they're a bit cheaper heats your skin Versus when you get in the sauna that's up at the 100 and well i got celsius running that's 140 celsius um i believe uh that could be crazy actually but <laughs> no 140 fahrenheit sorry there 140 yeah. celsius would be insane yeah uh, anyway boiling, right? it heats you through the core it takes a bit longer to get the sweat on and my god we i put a little rigged up a little outdoor shower off of a water spigot having that hot to cold transition getting more wim hoffy i don't feel anything else like that in my life it's like whoa like you get under ice cold water from out of 140 degrees sauna it's, it's something else, I'll tell you, Scotty. There's something to it. But back to Grow Talk. Um, let me feature What is there to it? You'll no, what is there to it, man? How can that, from jumping from 140 degrees to whatever it was, 40 degree water, that's just not, it's not natural. It shocks the system, man. I don't have like the benefits and not going to get into it, but it is just a good system shock and makes you feel freaking good and getting all that sweat out of you as well. Plus, I'm not putting my, my, Nice cotton robe on with all that sweat. So a quick rinse right out there in the ice cold well water does the trick. As, as long as we're talking wellness and whatnot, I will say <laughs> that we were talking about New Year's resolution. I told you I was going to start working out and dude was very discouraging. He laughed and goes, ha, 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 New Year's amateur. But uh, I did. I started going up. I was riding my exercise bike and I'll be damned. It was one in the morning. I was playing with the real buckets. I was loading them in my wife's car. I was going to start up her car and back it up. So I, I was like, wait a minute. It's 115 in the morning. But, dude, the energy that you get when you work out is so different, man. Even the, um, the, the high that you get after you work out, it is like it. I don't know. It does something amazing to you, man. So 
It's my public service announcement, man. Get your blood moving. Yeah. I started, I started oh, working great. out over right the summer and I found that I was getting runners high. I couldn't believe I was actually getting high. I was like, I feel am- I'm dancing in the street while I'm running. I was like, this is insane. So Yo. start working out, DGC. It feels good. You ever get a runner's high on weed? Nope. <laughs> the uh Feel good. Dr. Feel good. DGC has a good comment here. I've always heard that LEDs run about two to three degrees cooler on the leaf surface than the H due to HIDs due to lack of IR. So when you're looking at your VPD, just take two to three degrees off your tent temp, and that should be closer to the actual temp of the leaf surface. They probably suggest that range because it's optimal for overall plant metabolism. Yes. But many or but may not be optional in your setup depending on your situation, meaning Getting it that hot, depending on if you have a sealed grow or you actively exhaust, you might not have as much control. Don't sweat on running at 83 to 85 in an LED light situation. If like it's not going to ruin your, if you have to run at 79, you're still going to produce some dang. We're just giving you optimal parameters. So they usually have great, Dr. Feelgood says they usually have great results with temps in the 78 to 82 range. Happy growing. I like it, Dr. Feelgood. Good suggestion. Dr. Phil Good, you just uh, to show some love back, you are mentioned frequently as one of the best commenters and uh, best contributors on the website. Uh, so just know you are appreciated, sir. And who's at 903 okay, Grows well, It talks about uh, just using one of these. He's like 20 bucks online. Uh, uh, it's a, yeah, just, a little it's a, yeah, a little thermometer, man. Got the little laser. Measures leaf surface temperature, yeah. man. Mine always comes out 70 degrees. So I think this one night might need to be fixed. Yeah, Banner, you're 82. <laughs> I got to give it up to uh, one more OG DBC. Actually, we're getting them scheduled on the show here soon. Chad Westport says this is kind of cool. The amount of water in the root zone can have a large effect on leaf surface temperature compared to the ambient temperature. This is why the room temp is more guideline than hard rule. I like to run about 79 to 80 degrees in my room with LEDs. If the root zone is dry, low stress spikes or leaf surface temp spikes dramatically compared to the ambient temp. So proper watering practices should be part of this equation. Right on okay. information, DGC. Absolutely, man. Uh, Absolutely. Good stuff. Chad Westport, another celeb around the DGC, man. Uh, thank you all. Yeah. Um, so we should do, did we, did I just skip right over the Dank Nugs contest? You did, crazy. man. You did. The Dank Nugs almost, contest. We almost forgot again on the live show. What the hell? We got yelled at, man. I got yelled at by a little reel. I got yelled at by the winner. Yeah. But, but uh, Dank Nugs contest. Let's see. Uh, and Monday through Wednesday, just so you know, it is kind of just something short and sweet that we do. And if you are uh, if you know, you know, man. So Monday through Wednesday, it, it uh I think the post shows up Monday morning uh, by Wednesday on this live show. We are... Picking or picking a winner, dude. What do you got? Back it up, back it up, Grambo. I have to put my hand up since we're live. We don't have edits. I, I did have to say that last grow talk question because our badass was brought to you by Pulse Grow. Um, if you are measuring parameters in your grow and you want the data, man, and you want to be aware of any data points that are often notified via your cell, it'd be cool if they had a feature that called you. It's like, hello, this is Pulse Grow. Your humidity is too low in tent number one. But right. uh, it monitors t- temperature, humidity, lights on and off at the wrong time. And it will track all this data. It also has a calendar for putting in little grow notes, whatever you want to do. If you get a Pulse Pro, you can measure CO2. You can measure light. You can measure all kinds of badass things. PulseGrow.com, coupon code DUDE over there. OG supporter of the DGC, always hooking up units uh, to give away to everybody. So shout out. What's up, Chris? How much Yo. is uh, uh, the optional uh, foot button? You need a button that goes in your shoe so you can just, your wife's like, all right, your turn to do the dishes. You know, you're like, ding, 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 ding. You know? Yeah, oh. I can see that. Time to take the garbage out. It is. Get my grow. I got to go on my grow. So let's take it now to the Dangno contest. Well, let's figure out. I'm curious who won this week. What are we giving away this week? A pack of Irie the Machine Genetics. The Machine. Oh, the Machine yes. from Irie Genetics. Yes, man. Yes. Who do we got? Grambo, you got it. You you have it pulled up, sir. I it do. was tight today, it man. It was very, very, very tight. And we ended out with uh, 14 votes for the cheese from Zoltrex. And just by one vote, you guys, that's why voting is so important. Get those votes in each week. By one vote, maraschino pie by L.A. Devil's Lettuce. Oh, 
Echelon Symbionics. One of my favorite names in all of Grow, Echelon oh, Symbionics. They got the good descriptions, man. Yeah, I feel yeah. bad. That's too tight. And Zoltex Growers is pretty fucking cool. Yeah, He's always so there out. it is. All right, we got two winners. The man. creme, as he uh, likes to refer to it. I've got uh, an extra pack right. of Irie Genetics. Rasta Jeff is super oh. cool. So we're we're gonna be we're in the giving spirit, man. Well, so. fuck yes. Yep. Well, congratulations. It's too tight, man. It's too tight. Yeah. All right. Well, that's amazing. Well, Zoltrix, congratulations. Echelon Symbiotics, congratulations. You guys got yourself some fucking awesome genetics from uh, Rasta Jeff, the Machine. And we picked that because Rasta Jeff's such a big stand-up comedy fan, and Burt Kreischer, the Machine. So enjoy that. Chem de la Chem. Wait. Times arise. Burt Kreischer has us like a. That's part of. Uh, that's not his full like name, the machine. That's part like a skit or like that's yeah, yeah. He uh, like part, become one of his act. He spoke his Russian story. very, very poorly in Russia, and then he tried to get himself out of a jam, and he tried to say like something like "I'm not a threat," and then he just yelled, "I'm the machine!" And they're like, "We fucking love this kid!" And they got him drunk, and he robbed a train. Oh. So, <laughs> yeah, somebody tells me he tells it better. We're like, I tell it pretty good. <laughs> I think uh, in a comic sense, uh, since you know a little bit, uh, Grambo, you got to be careful with that because once you get one bit so popular, then when you go do your stand up, people are just like, do the machine, man. Do oh, the machine. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, the thing. So. But as comedians, we are uh, we are very attention whorish. We're very thirsty. We're thirsty people, the comedians. So I'll tell you anything. You want to you want me to tell a story? I'll tell it again. Hey, we got a couple DDC. Hey, Dank Nugs contest starts again next Monday. IG, it'll pop up in the morning, guys. Get your Dank Nugs on dudegrows.com. Um, and then we pick the winner on the live show on Wednesdays. Wow, we did it, Scott. We, we got it right. We got it correct this time. I was just going to congratulate. I was like, I feel like we're finally getting it, dude. There's there's a lot of things in motion here. If you guys haven't noticed, IG's rocking. Uh, Patreon, Scotty and Banner have been trying to hang on Discord on and off. We're trying to hit all angles, keep the machine firing in all cylinders. How do you like that? Ah, Banner, we're going to do it, right? Me and Banner, bullshit. Mm -hmm. we, we bullshit anyhow. So I'm like, come on, Tuesday. No, actually, Banner said it. Tuesday evenings, we're going to get together. We're going to go on the Discord live audio over yeah. the patron Discord. Yep. And we're going to talk about growing stuff, man. Yeah, come on, stop by and say hi. Yes. Yeah. Shout out to some DDC producers, GR Grower 420, and always baked, never fried. That's my style, too. That's how I like my wings, man, or smoked. What's going on, guys? Or you know, is that grr grower 420? Is that just a grr? Or is it be an extra G? <laughs> oh, cannabis. Come on, you should take that one. Oh, cannabis 613. Oh, cannabis. <laughs> Nothing. Um, let's get into what now. No, I don't know what, what percentage. I haven't figured that out yet. What percentage <laughs> Canadian I am versus what percentage American I am. But since I live You're in a lot of Canadian, of life, bro. Yeah. You What's that? In, you fit in perfect there, eh? Dude asked me something, and he, uh, yeah, he definitely ended the question with A. And yeah, there was different meaning to that A, man. A? I do like the A. I give that. I give that. Double thumbs up, man. Um, as far as uh, <laughs> who told us, yeah. is double Somebody thumbs. How Canadian is double thumbs up? Is that a, is that a thing up there? Uh, the, not sure. <laughs> double plus. <good. laughs> no. Then weren't you telling me that A or some? But some Canadian was telling us that uh, A can mean anything, absolutely anything. A. I don't know. I feel comfortable though. I'll tell you. We won't get into it. But knowing that really our only border and biggest border is shared with America. Compared to the borders some countries have to share with each other, speaking of current events in the world, man, I, I don't feel too bad. You know, some countries don't have good neighbors. So we got a lot of resources up here, though. So America and Canada have to get along. No. All right. Let's get into what's going on. Yes, sir. Let's you got it. You, you start off here with let's talk rosin. We got concentrate tech talk. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of what I'm medicating with. But go into it. You and Kenny had a conversation talking about dabs. Dude, I, I got hooked up with a couple dabs and it got me higher than I've been in a long time. You know, it got me as high as like smoking a joint, but a shit, you know, maybe a whole joint by myself or something like that, uh, which is as high as I am right now. But on one dab and then, of course, I wanted to see what two would do. And two was really I was like, wow, man. And these I mean, doing a dab from a rig is a lot different of an experience. Banner, you're, I can't imagine that you do many dabs from a rig. Nah, not, not a dab. Dude, you? 
No, I don't have any dab rigs, dab material. It's all flour here. The only concentrate I have is hat. Yeah. I mean, JR Token Game. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Grambo, are you, uh, do you have a dab rig at home? <coughs> I do. And he coughs. <laughs> Banner gave me some, uh, some taking tops nugs today. Okay. So I, I'm, I don't, you guys know, I don't usually smoke uh, all that much flour on the show because I'm, yeah, right? I'm, I'm, I'm a little coffee bitch. But Banner offered it up. I was like, it's the live show. Let's get toasty. Yeah, try this. I mean, try something you, you never do. Oh yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I do. I, I have a uh, just a regular old school uh, quartz nail and everything. But it, I heard that you just ordered a uh, an email for the bakery. Is this right? Yeah, man, I ordered an email and five pounds of runts, bro. A new email <laughs> from Amazon. I did. I just was like, I'm sure we could hook up with one of our partners and get a you know get a good email. But just as an experience, you ever seen when they like those videos where they like test something from Harbor Freight or something? Yeah. We're testing an $89 Amazon email. Oh, wow. Yeah. We'll see, man. We'll see. Um, Get a fire extinguisher. Yeah. I'm not going to leave it on. I'm not going to you know drape a doily over it or anything like that, you know? <laughs> yeah. Don't leave it unintended. No, but I, I just and now does an email. Uh, I'm sure that the uh, live chat understand or would have some good uh, uh, information about that. Does an email do the same thing as a a rig? I mean, I'm telling you that rig. You mean effects wise? Yeah, is it going to give you that? Yeah. I mean, I got one of these things. <laughs> had, had, had one, one. of them. <laughs> yeah. Man, can't even use in this thing. You can hit this all fucking day. It doesn't really get you that high. And that's, it's not the equivalent of is it doing... because you can't? What is that device? What oh, are you I'm, holding there? That's I'm what sorry. You call this that, is that, a pen. Luca. This is a Luca. It's like a handheld kind of uh, nectar collector type device, man. Uh, not a fancy one by any means, but it will give you good, you know, good uh, concentrate hits if you're not looking to smoke flour. And it is. Concentrates are clean, man. You want to talk about... Um, I don't know, even for my kid, man. I don't want to fucking have joint smoke or just tons of joint smoke coming down all, you know, coming down the stairs all the time. If I do that, it's going to be me. Well, and we're in like a renaissance of hash right now. Like in the last like one year, the amount, like the cost and quality, like the cost of good, good hash is going down and what the quality is going mean? up, up, up. Are you sure that it's good, good quality? And that's why I wanted to bring this up. Well, I can't fucking tell, Mike. This is fascinating. Yes. Scotty's hit on something that I consider myself a bit of a cannabis nerd. I hadn't came across this. This is fascinating. You want to sp- explain a little bit about this? Well, you're talking about the color remediation? Yeah, the, re- the remediation. Dude, yeah. By the way, anything that you glance at on Facebook, they know. And they had this... Uh, advertisement one time for like a white paper on uh, color remediation, which is basically, I guess it's a column, color remediation column. And it's basically taking, a, uh, I don't know if it's diatomaceous earth or if it's, there's some, well, some that are carbon based, there's some that are silica based, but they're basically filters. And Grandpa, if you, if you, are you click on this, if you would, that image that you have up, it can take really dirty stuff like that, what you see on the on the right, and then make it look. Oh, right. Yeah, we're looking at like a caramel peak, like dark caramel color yeah. versus the one on the left, a very light amber. But we're so you're making it look more appealing. Yes, but it's it not look- of any better quality. Exactly, man. I I can't imagine your. There's no way that's adding terps that that you can only be taking terps from processing it another it, another time. Is it not filtered? More? Like further filter, it's just a filter of impurities. Yes. And so it's not, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, except that it can make, who knows how dirty that is, man? Who knows? Are you starting with these terrible $150, you know, terrible quality, $150 pounds that you're getting from, you know, wherever. Yeah. And then cleaning it up into something that looks really good like that. Yes. It just doesn't have the terpene profile. Yes. Maybe that's, that's what definitely I, happening. Yeah, you know what? I've been smoking. Like, yeah, I can smoke what I want, man. The Joe Dirt Grower Home Press. So, man. does that have to be labeled as such, though? If it's CRC, I don't know because I can't fucking figure it out. Now you see super blonde uh, you know, extracts, or uh, my kid's friend came over with uh, an extract that it looked like a chunk of cheddar cheese, and of course, it was called mac <laughs> and cheese. It was called mac and cheese, dude. Was it waxy? 
Like yeah. ear, it sounds like earwax. Remember that stuff? No, it just looked like a chunk of fucking cheese, and it was just weird. And I was like, dude, that's not naturally. And she's like, it's rosin, man. I'm like, I don't know, man. Hmm. Grambo, you got, I found this chart with all the different kinds of uh, extracts on there, since none of us are pros. <laughs> you see this, dude? Can you see this one? Yeah, yeah. I got so, what, so are you, you're hip to all this, man? <laughs> I no, know. guys, we'll get a chart. Here's here's the let me list them off real quick. We got oil, wax, we, bubble hash, rosin, live resin, sauce, diamonds, isolate, flan, hmm, shatter, flan. butter, and keef. I've smoked all of these except for flan. What the fuck is flan? What the fuck is flan? It's whipped. It's, it's the whipped apex butter. terpy modern extracts. Flan is a wet is wet with terps and paired with dab rigs, highly refined. What the fuck does that I mean? Sounds like a, I thought it was a dessert, man. I, yeah. It sounds like you're making it with ingredients, man. So I guess it's just whipped. So what do we mostly get? We mostly get butter here. Uh, shatter is so last century. Shatter's over. Yeah. Um, and uh, let's say diamonds and sauce, which they usually mix together. Diamonds are just 100% pure THC crystal, right? For the most part. It, I would say that live resin essentially is sauce and diamonds a lot of time, too. So well, this is kind of simplifying it in, in a kind of a silly way to make their chart nice and even. Yeah. But yes, I think everything on here holds true. The live is the is the big difference, man. That's like the 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 hip stuff over the last few years. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like they, they list like live resin sauce, but then. Why not live rosin? If we're listing things as live, why not mm-hmm. live keef, gotcha. live this butter, is... live shatter? Why not live flan? This was, this was a conversation <laughs> starter, Grandpa. All right, <laughs> I man. Know, man. I like live bubble hash myself. So let's let's talk about live because I got the guru actually educated me on how to make live extracts. And yes, it was a hell of a lot different than what we were going to do. Me and Banner were like, dude, you want to take some flour and squeeze it in one of those bags on some parchment paper and then smoke it? You know, like, which is this fucking, we got the rosin press behind us, man, the rosin bomb. And like, we do, I was going to do it yesterday. I'm like, all right, that sounds fun to me. But doing live stuff, man, it's like you literally have to harvest the bud, immediately freeze it, then uh, wash it and you know, make ha- you know, bubble hash out of it. Immediately put the bubble hash in the freeze dryer. And I believe that's what makes it live, right? Yeah, it's got to stay frozen right when you clip the branch. You, you pull off the fan leaves and it gets frozen right there and it stays as cold as you can keep it pretty much yeah. all the way through until press. Yeah. And then we can squeeze it afterwards, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather make empanadas, man. All right. <laughs> Respect to the empanadas. Uh, my wife took sure. like five hours to make them. Five hours. <laughs> no, for the furthest I've taken my my uh, advancement in. I mean, I do have a volcano, but I rarely use it. Is um, in smoking devices or different types of consumption is just hash in the hash pipe. I mean, I know I've showed it before on the show. Uh, there's a hash pipe image there up um, towards the top. Yeah, Banner actually asked me today. He's like, "Dude, do you have like that crystal orb type thing?" And we're looking at a hash pipe which has the holes around the, the upper part orb, of the spoon. Nothing at the bottom of, of the bowl. Obviously, you don't want to light hash and just have it like melt or burn through. So I just use a lighter to light my hash because usually my hash is just stays lit. Like if you, it's nice, you can just toke on it like a pipe. And But this little crystal orb would mean you could you put other concentrates in a simple, something as simple as a hash pipe, right? Like if you wanted to put the before mentioned, I don't know, live resin or shatter or whatever and just heat that little orb up with a torch, that'd be a super simple way. To have like a minimalist device, no. Where'd you grow up, man? Like the suburbs of St. Louis, man. <laughs> I'm just keep it simple, man. I, I just I don't know. It's I always say one less thing with a battery, one less thing to plug in in my my life. I'm good with. I, they call me boring. I also, you know, my, my mantra on the show. I don't feel I'm getting the same entourage effect of put, like all full flower. You're obviously taking some things out. Uh, some people don't want these undesired to things that to get to that super clear looking concentrate or whatever. You're not getting the same effect out of most concentrates I've tried. And actually, I've gotten more depend- strain dependent, uh, more uh, helicopter paranoid fucking high. Off of, but it was my choice to take too much of a uh, a hit from their extractor when I took a huge hit of lemon G live like or not live resin rosin and a dab rig. And it's like, dude, this is too high. Okay. I- 
Uh, I just, I just passed. Hey, by the way, we got, I got sativa hide yesterday. And me and Kenny just started cleaning. <laughs> we just started cleaning. And then he's like, you know, it's one in the morning. We should probably go to bed, right? <laughs> hey, I just passed banner two. That's beautiful. That's JR token hash right there. No, it isn't. Yeah. Lies. No? The other one is. This one is. Then I have JR token hashes. I thought I had two of them. Whose is that? Yeah, wait. There's two here. One, they look very different. Yeah, one is just white. I don't yeah, know if yeah. you can see it. And that's kind of what we're talking about. Somebody, this is the white one. Yeah, somebody gives you, I don't know if we can show whatever, but point is, man, it's very, it look, you're like, whoa, look how clean and pure. But what did it start out as? It's just what I wonder. I don't know. Do I care if it comes out? I mean, no, man, because if it started out with no terpenes, then there can't be any terpenes in it unless Grambo, drum roll, please, man. Can you show the artificial terpenes? They're kind of disturbing, yeah, man. That'll be a perfect. Uh, I have a little post I want to feature about terpenes. You're talking about this fake terpenes image that shows like the bottles. Yeah. Hang on. There. there. There you on, go. We're looking at bottles. Dead. It's like, oh, you can get cookies, terpenes, train wreck terpenes, uh, blue dream terpenes. So granddaddy purple uh, terpenes, man, that is fucked up, man. <laughs> so that's what you have to add back those? in, right? Well, and this image is For a your, piss poor uh, Photoshop as well. This image don't exist. <laughs> Just so I don't know how, 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 like you know, I would imagine any time that something's fairly real, they would take an actual picture of it. So no, well, this is real. No, no, I mean I real, but as far as like art, I don't know if that's something I want to put in my body. That's my cologne, man. That's the Dutch. Oh boy, I here, put the, for, I put the, the forbidden the fruit terpenes on. Yeah, explain it, dude. I, I, I'm being, I'm Get being biased. Best. This is a post I found on dudegrows.com, infused botanical terpenes by Kennebis. It says, hey, dude, Scotty Grambo and the DGC. Glad to be part of this community. Thought it might be a good discussion on here where the legal market is headed. Wonder, uh, wondering if anyone has heard of extracting botanical terpenes and adding them to weed products. Weed that tastes like pickles could be coming. It says, I'm a hash smoker and I enjoy variety. I make my own bubble and dry sift but I like to try different types. Sometimes the Ontario cannabis store has something interesting. Browsing today, I saw a product that caught my eye. Hash infused with botanical terpenes. I didn't buy it. I'm looking for the taste of hash. I agree, I like the taste of hash, man. Real hash, like Moroccan, Lebanese, cashmere. What um, about Chick-fil-A so terpenes, terpenes, man? I would do hash, I would smoke hashes that taste like Chick-fil-A. <laughs> no? Hell yeah, man. I have a so an ending comment, uh, to me, fine hashish is a true expression of our favorite plant, not something designed in a lab. Now they can apparently extract terps from anything and use them into other products. Curious how the DGC feels about that. So I was looking around, and yeah, you can definitely you can click on this slurricane, ter slurricane terpene scrambo, and straight up, like there's companies that sell this to concentrate companies. And Scotty, I think you were leaning towards earlier, I'd be afraid, like, you're a production facility and you grow a bunch of flour. I've had pretty good flour, but it had no good smell or taste to it. It still got me high, but you want those other desired attributes that, dude, we can just make this strange lurricane. I mean, you could simply add, you don't think <laughs> look, we could pull out, you know what I'm saying? Look, look at the brand. Got 50, the, the brand is that? called True Terpenes, man. Well, there's the truth <laughs> and then there's the truth, you know? There. <laughs> They're botanically sourced. Now we should get into that a little bit deeper on another show where, to where it's not necessarily like this synthetic, uh, what was that, bizarro juice. We saw some bizarro <laughs> juice at a trade show. But <laughs> I guarantee, you. man, that some people are adding this back to their flour. And um, yeah, that's it, it, if it's botanically sourced and not bad for you and it doesn't affect anything on the inhale or anything, why is that a bad thing? If it's for your own personal, I mean, maybe not on a commercial scale where you're just adding a bunch of slurricane to make it danker. But so are you against Chick-fil-A terps uh, then? Or uh, pickle terps? Are, are, I think so. Are those terps exactly the same as what would be found naturally in the flower? I can't imagine. Or are they, so. like, is it just a matter of like chemistry? It's like it's literally. I think the same terpene thing. is a class of things, man. You know, it's a you know, it's like is there a difference between like the ones you're adding back in and the ones that are naturally there? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say yes. 
And you have to imagine uh, that if those were cannabis derived terpenes, it would be front and center on the label, you know, whereas this is just botanical. No, is there a difference? You know, like if you derive, Mm, you know, yeah, scientifically, no, right? I mean, chemical molecules are kind of, I don't think they're molecularly the same thing. I think it's like saying we're making paint. Mm, And it's not straight terpene, right? It must, is it like there's got to be some sort of carrier? It would think so. It's certainly not the natural way that terpenes are, uh, you know, you are. Are toted around, you know. I'm not supposed to be. Isolated Need to learn like more about that. that. It's still, it's, it's not natural. I don't think it's as, anyway. Not natural. I did, it's unnatural. <laughs> I I thought it was a bummer because they were kind of covering up. My kid comes home, spends her hard earned money. Okay, no, but uh, uh, has some kind of concentrate, and she's like, "Isn't this amazing? Look how crazy! Look how beautiful it is!" And it looks really, I'm like, man, I don't know. If I've seen great rosin and it's never looked like that. Look how weird this stuff. Grimbar, are you showing all this stuff? Not yet, but yeah, I, I, I can show it. Look at how weird Why, this stuff Can we is. just all admit that some of it just looks gross? I, I know we get excited weird. about it. That's the it earwax, looks gross, right? man. Yeah, just cruise over. I want to show you. <laughs> Keep going, right? That's what, but look at the difference in CRC right there, man. I mean, that's wow. a big difference, right? Now, that makes me wonder, too, though, was the brown stuff that was in there somehow giving me a different entourage effect? Like, do we need to take that out? Why are we fighting for such a clearer look? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because we don't want it to look like bodily fluids. You don't want it to get to that white, man, you know, that all white. It looks more. All right, keep on scrolling, man. There was a couple interesting ones, man. That one's crazy. Yeah. Oh, like the earwax, it was so that gross. one, man, dude. Earwax. Is that one? What do you there think? You that reminds me of what hash used to look like. That when uh, when good live resin first started coming out, that's kind of what it looked like. Can I tell you something, dude? I was searching for pictures, and I was like, oh my god, look at the colors on that one, and that is mango bath bomb right there, man. <laughs> yeah, it's bath uh, bomb. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh. You can't even tell. They make it look like mango bath bomb now. Now, so. Well, the bottom line is there's a lot of money to be made and they do have to continue to be innovative and come up with trendy products as well as products that are easily to consume and pens. So there's plenty of people that still are just like, ooh, like fire up a joint or like put like a pipe in my mouth. And they like they feel so much better about having a little sleek pen in their purse or something that fits almost their lifestyle a little better. And it's obviously more discreet. Um, and then the only bad part about it is we covered in a previous show a little bit was like wastefulness kind of sucks with some of these products. Um, but anyway, I did want to, if we're done with that, I was going to yeah, do a shout was, out here, Scotty. You know what? I just wanted to say, I am Googling. I have one article about what is uh CRC and here, I don't know if we mm-hmm. want to be, if, if it's a bummer, it's activated charcoal, which they filter shit through activated charcoal all the time. You know, Ben and I filters are oh. Yeah, diatomaceous earth, silica. So it's not, I don't know what magnesol is, um, but uh, it doesn't seem too crazy. It just seems like a filtration. So I don't know if uh, we should be bummed out about it. I just think that, it, you know, it will take something that never had terps to begin with and make it look like something amazing. Mm. So a little bit crazy. And don't forget. It's the false advertising part that you object to. Kind of, just a little bit. Yeah. I mean, if you are Probably filtering. Going to this- Go ahead. Do you throw down when you guys go to the store? Do you, yes. Do you throw down on the real vanilla? Like, do you, do you spend the ten ninety nine for the organic bottle of like real vanilla, or you do buy the imitation vanilla, which is like seventy five percent left? Yeah, baking? yeah. I think it's the. I think most of the recipes call for the imitation vanilla. So uh, <laughs> you're right, dude. Real vanilla, right? We all know that's like a factoid. It's like the most expensive plant in the world, or something like that. Like, dude, real fucking high quality vanilla is expensive. Man. Yeah, and isn't the fake vanilla like from the anal gland of a beaver or some shit? Anyway, man, my oh, wife just made some delicious <laughs> cookies, man. All right, look at this. Hey, Grandpa, what is that? That's great. You're showing this? That was the uh, carbon filtration. That's some of the, the cannabis oil right? pigments. Activated charcoal can filter out cannabis oil pigments. Dude, my tile guy is like, you know what you need to get into? I sent it to Banner. Bamboo charcoal. There is like, now, you know, we have all this extra bamboo when we're making the, the cuts and stuff like that, or we're making the new plants. And man, bamboo charcoal is like the most odor absorbent thing you can get. Why is that? Uh, I don't know if you think about bamboo, it is really porous, right? I'll bet there's a lot of surface area in there. That makes sense. Yeah. 
That's it. That's a new business, man. Charcoal Scotty. Bamboo Scotty. How long until it's in your Scotty. grow, man? How long until it's in my grow? You're right, yeah. man. You should, you should, be, test, should be in those filters. You should filters. be testing it out right now. Calling AC Infinity, man. <laughs> I'm tempted to add some, uh, get some biochar. I was just bullshitting at the grow store the other day, and the guy was like, dude, you should add perlite to your cocoa. I'm like, I don't ever add perlite to my cocoa. He's fine. But he's like, it's a good home for all the back, you know, microbes, beneficial bacteria, and all the shit you use. <laughs> um, he's like, well, I just don't want cocoa. another input if I don't need it, and I haven't needed it. So I'm thinking adding some biochar to my cocoa next uh, as well. Really as I, I don't know if I coined the saying. I think I stole it. Think of biochar as a, a coral reef. For your, your microbes in your soil, so probably a good move, wouldn't you think? Microbe Scotty, I'm a Scotty microbe today instead of Scotty real. Like if you have more places, is that true? Like in a cocoa substrate, you're not really going to have as many places for them to quote live without adding a little bit of surface nah, area. I mean, there's a lot of surface area on that cocoa, and as long as it's not too wet, they true. live there. They can live right. Some of them, like mycorrhizae, lives on the root. Um, so you'll be good there. Um, the, the biochar is, you know, we were talking about it being porous and that's where it catches a lot of yeah. uh, the odor particles. Well, all that ready porosity will allow uh, more surface area for microbes to colonize. So it is great. It's a great a little hotel for them down there. Uh, so, yeah, I'm pro biochar, me about dude. it. Get him on from build a soil. We'll do a little biochar talk. We have some more guests coming. Stay tuned. Like I said, Chad Westport, we're getting Jeremy from Build a Soil. Um, trying to get Mendo Dope scheduled. So more guests coming in the new year, coming at you. And before we laugh here, I want to do a shout out, Grambo, to Integra Boost. Boost your cannabis. I don't have my, my pounder within reach. It's got the big pack, man. But when you guys are going in and out of a big container, as Scotty likes to with this five gallon, you need to maintain that environment in there. At 62%, they also have 58% packs of all sizes for up to like five pounds or some shit. Uh, it's a great way. And one thing unique about Integra is they have a little indicator in there to tell you when that pack is not working anymore and it's time for a replacement. Banner What's vouch up? for me, showing man. Off your bucket? I'm showing off the bucket because the bucket's almost empty, unfortunately, and I got a far away till my harvest. But I got this big old boost in here. And man, big old boost, a big old boost. Is that nice or what? I mean, that is not crumple. And every time I open and close this thing, I'm letting, you know, 20 percent humidity air go back in it. So I'll vouch for him, man. Uh, I just want to say that uh, the complaint I see from people is how it uh, robs your terpenes. No way. But um, it still smells. That's urban legend, yo. Yeah. I don't think it's true. No, man. Terpenes will, if you have dried up weed and then try to reintroduce, you know, try to reintroduce moisture, you'll get moisture back in it. You're not magically going to get the terpenes that volatize hey, off. What, what, hey, what flavor do you want it to be? I got some slurricane juice. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back to life. I'm not big on the flavor, Ed. Ed. To each their own, sir. I will try that Chick fil A, man. They got Chick fil A. Hey, uh, Integra so dot, gosh, dash products.com. Coupon code dude. I'll shout out uh, regionally speaking here in Vancouver, if any since we're live, if any DGC are going to the Lift Expo this weekend, make sure you say hi to Dinesh. He'll be over at the Green Planet. <laughs> Integra will be there. Just go demand samples. Say, I'm DGC. What's up, guys? Um, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I was going to go to industry day, but uh, $100 for a ticket. I was kind of like, hmm, hmm. I just went, hmm. Come on, um, you're I'm pressed, get man. Me. They're going to charge the dude. There's no one with connections that can get you in, man. Yeah, what about posing as a waiter? Do we need to make phone calls, dude? <laughs> dude you're right. I could pose. No, you pose as one of those event staff people. I'll just be carrying like a. A bag of trash and like a black, uh, like little out. Yeah, you got it. I, I could do that. I can get in. That is true, man. If you should, man, you should try to sneak in. It's how easy it is. I'll bet you on a scale from one to ten. You remember, like dude, two. that was like your, back in the day, you and uh, Mike, just Mike, because we'd be like, we'd be like, look, there's always a way to get into events, man, especially a stoner event. <laughs> like, <laughs> really, really? I think of the High Times Cannabis <laughs> Cup. Like, really? Be, We're going to buy man. eight bracelets? Come on, guys. That's no, it was guys sold out. Forward, it was bro. sold out, man. It must have been, man. There's no way I would. I think it was. And I think your your plan was just to walk in, which I've done before, too. But to walk in, right, walk right in the front. Don't look left or right. Like, you're supposed to be there. You know what you're doing. And go in those doors. And anyway, I think it was my Attitude thing before. Some security was there, man. but it totally worked. Attitude is everything, sir. You got to use your green pass. <laughs> yeah, you that is true. Get you in anywhere. 
It used to carry like a more. box. Oh, this is true, right, man. Let's, let's hang like, on. The green pass. Pulling out an uh, awesome dank nug and handing it to somebody, even in the days of stores and being able to buy it in a store, still does mean something, man. Special homegrown weed still does mean something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's how the lifties go get, get uh, such good weed. It's true. I shoot pool left. Does that count? It's the only thing I do left. It's weird. Um, so let's laugh here. Do some best of social media. What'd you find here, Scotty? This is your I, categories. I yeah, like I sit back and be surprised. <laughs> I tailored this for you, dude. I did. I oh. thought, uh, <laughs> you know who Dan Zig is, right? I don't know. If yeah, you grew up yeah. in the 80s and 90s. All right, so there's Dan Zig, lead, lead singer of Mother. Misfits. There you go. So JR Token fucking sends me this shit. And I don't do Instagram, but I get suckered into it, man. And Grandpa, just, just <laughs> click this, man. Just click. What is happening here, man? This is like baby, <laughs> baby Glenn <laughs> Danzig. <laughs> Oh man, hang on. It's a whole fucking it's a whole series. But hang on. There was a whole series of baby dancing. I don't know if we'll let you play it. No, it expired. Oh, but, man. Yeah. And then dude, so I Google baby dancing and then all this weird shit like Dan married with dancing comes up. You gotta admit, that's not weird. I don't know why Henry Rollins is behind Henry the couch. Rollins is randomly in the background. Yeah, this is very the hell there's wasn't there one more man it was yeah. just weird Costanzig <laughs> I put that in for you oh, Grandpa I think yeah, like I that one that, man yeah. <laughs> I love it you go down so many internet rabbit holes it's weird alright I got one for you ready <laughs> yes. alright banner everybody right everybody alright I'm gonna do this now okay everybody think of a number right okay okay <laughs> Grandpa double it okay Add six. Now divide it in half. Mm -hmm. Now subtract the number you started with. Mm. <laughs> I remember what that was. Mm. Tell me when you. I know the answer. Yeah. The answer is three. It is. It is three. It's three. It is three. David Copperfield. I got one for you. Think of a number. Yes, sir. Got one. Uh -huh. All right. Double it. <laughs> no, is this the same thing? No, no, no. Okay. A little different. There we go. Double it. Yeah. Okay. Now cut it in half. Yeah. What do you got? <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> it got me, man. I was fast. And by the way, look at the internet oh. comments. They're like, whoa, man. I got one. Think yeah. of a number. Yes, sir. Now, can I uh, borrow 20 bucks? <laughs> uh, that worked. Oh, Fuck Love yeah. it. All right. Last I thing. I hope you guys are enjoying. Man. Yes, Live. Sir. What's up, Scotty? I was going to do a little little talking, bullshitting. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, there you go, man. There you go. I'm ready. I'm ready to bullshit, man. I'm on the other Can I throw well, something out there? Is yes, sir. Oh, what's up? No, no, no. Go ahead. I'm sorry. This is our bullshitting session, man. Uh, I just wanted to, so uh, just uh, back to your uh, CRC thing. Yes, sir. Uh, shout out and tired. Um, I'm in PA, and there's a lot of CRC concentrates here. You can taste the difference. Oh, the bet. CRC, wow. I think that says waxes, uh, have bleach like taste, which is kind of interesting. So you that's can taste the difference. Yeah, that's horrible. I'm, oh, I'm sure, man, because the terpenes are when you get fresh, uh, live rosin, man, that shit is fresh, frozen. And then, like, there's total tons of care taken to uh, not have the terpenes degrade. Yeah, that's a lot different than CRC, I, yeah. I would imagine, unless you're CRC. I don't that's know why, why you would CRC that stuff, man, if it's, it's going to look good. Yeah. Now, oh, that I business model is going to be taking whatever product, getting it all cleaned up, and then adding terps back and selling it to people. I think that's going to be think part that of is. business life. That's, that's so why crazy. I brought it up. I think I think that is what's happening. Man. They're already and, there. Yeah, I know. I'm like well, the old guy that's now confused, <laughs> you know? Take it out, and then we'll put it back in. Yeah. I like it. And then we'll cut it in half and double. Good time today. Check out dudegrows.com forward slash support. Not to step on you. You don't understand because you don't live in BC right now. But yes, sir. The sun is out. The sun is out right now, and I think it's only going to be out for one more hour. Whoa. So it's like when you you know wow. in BC in the winter, man. When the sun's out, it's like a whole different. It's like a whole different universe, bro. Yeah, dude was it was it was messing with me. Sun's, 
he was telling me I should go. He's like, dude, I heard it's going to be like in the 40s and 50s, maybe 50. You should go on your bike. What's up, man? Get on out there. <laughs> and uh, it did hit 50. And you are right. You could ride a bike in this weather, man. Could. If there wasn't ice all over the place. Okay, man. There is no wrong weather, only wrong clothes. Once an explorer wise man said. Wow, man. You don't worry about the ice riding now? Ice is ice, bro. Yeah. <laughs> No, it doesn't yeah, get that I cold can't out take there. it further. There's no wrong ice, only wrong tires. No, yeah, for sure. You got to make sure the riding conditions are okay. <laughs> uh, stay higher, DGC. I'm going to get out of this live. You guys are still going to rant. You're welcome. Hang with the the, the chat. Uh, peace out until next time, and we'll be coming at you guys. Thanks for hanging out. See you, Scotty. Mana, hey, Grambo. Hey, Grambo, will you show the rocket launch as we leave, man? It was so trippy. <laughs> yeah, I'll so watch like, that. Yeah. Hang on, watch this really quick. Right before we take her easy... I won't say it. Just watch how trippy this is, man. Because it's like within a few seconds. Dude, look how fast that fucking oh. thing is going, man. <laughs> Dude. Nice. Looks like out of Florida. Yeah. This is SpaceX rocket. <laughs> it's trying to get the fuck out of Florida as fast as it can. <laughs> ah, good material, <laughs> man. Good material. Dude, uh, you can see the curvature of the Earth. It's been like crazy, 12 dude. seconds. Oh, oh wow! Holy Done. shit! The turn. That's cool. Yeah. Wow. Hopefully, man. it doesn't hit anybody on the way down. All right, there's your stoner. Well, that's the thing about SpaceX. This some bitch is gonna land back on its feet. Is this what's gonna? Oh, this is fucking fast forwarded. Is that what's happening here? No, I think this is a uh, accurate speed. You can see the, the those flashes going off. Those are the uh, little propellants that are uh, pushing it off in zero if gravity. This all happens in forty seconds, and I'm skeptical. Wait, so this thing's gonna land itself? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of deceiving when you see the curvature of the Earth. It's actually shot on a very, very wide lens. So when you get to the distance of the horizon, it actually curves it because of lens distortion, not because we're actually seeing the the full curvature of the Earth. So it's a little deceiving. It didn't go quite. It went to low Earth orbit, which is like you know that dude jumped from low Earth. Right, no orbit. way! Like it's gonna oh, land shit. not in the water, and yep. they're gonna recover it, the rocket. It lands right, right back on the landing pad. Kaboom, baby! See how it ignites right there at the very end just to that's break fake the, that's nope. sad dude, dude, no sir i don't believe it no dude it's sir. so sad that that was a minute and 35 seconds and i've never watched it till the end i got about 12 <sighs> no, seconds in. i'm like i'm sharing this fucking sure that thing, wasn't man. sped up <laughs> That had to be spent. Scott came this. across one of my favorite things Facebook is starting to do now. They'll ta- annotate things that says shared, but not opened. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> shared, it's got a real DGC in a nutshell, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, good <laughs> shit, boys. Right, this, was, out this was a blast. Stay higher, DGC. Peace out, guys. Uh, we'll be coming at you all the time, all over the place. You know what I'm I, saying? IG, man. Patreon, Discord, YouTube, yeah. Spotify. We're taking over. Damn straight, you'll be tired of us. <laughs> hey, take her easy, dude. Banner, great hanging out. Uh, Grambo, yeah, you know us later, dude. Love y'all. See you on Friday. All right. Wow. That's cool. Is that your radio voice? Yeah, baby. All right. Take her easy. Some people love to blaze up the deck. Yeah, we get happy for noon. And with the boss man, sister, take a little break. Let me.